Earth is on a ticking time bomb, and soon you will see why. Because in this video, we'll show you how cosmic disasters completely surround our dear planet. From ultra-relativistic energies, to big asteroids, and even whole planets, Earth is basically a sitting duck in the vastness of space. We will use a tier list as our ranking system for Earth's worst cosmic threats, starting with D representing minor threats, all the way to S for extinction-level impacts. Let's explore these threats that literally wipe humanity out of existence. These are all grounded in actual scientific data derived from Earth's geological records, including information like craters caused by meteor impacts combined with astronomical records, which provide the average frequency and distance of these potentially catastrophic occurrences. Electrons as ultra-relativistic energies this recently detected event was noticed within the Earth's magnetic shield and shocked researchers who called it ultra-fast electron precipitation. This is produced whenever the Sun releases solar flares, causing disturbances such as geomagnetic storms, which result in the formation of electromagnetic waves surging through the Van Allen radiation belts, which are giant rings of charged particles located on the uppermost atmosphere of Earth, causing the volume and speed of electrons in our planet's magnetic field to increase exponentially to the point of overflow. To actually see this, the scientists used the data obtained from the ELFIN mission, the first pair of small satellites to measure these ultra-fast electrons, and combined them with the data from NASA's Themis spacecraft. With these two, they were able to identify the electromagnetic waves to be Whistler waves. Now you may wonder how this affects Earth. While it has been reported that this ultra-fast electron rain has a terrible effect on our extremely important Earth's atmospheric chemistry, the aurora borealis, which many of us find fascinating, is actually a sign of Earth's deteriorating atmosphere thanks to the fast electrons. And it doesn't stop at that. The electron rain attacks and damages spacecraft and satellite, and presently scientists have no way to protect astronauts or even us against these ultra-fast electrons. So since these electrons are ultra-relativistic energies, which send us back to the Dark Ages and not annihilate us, we will label them minor and give them a D on the tier list. High Energy Solar Flare Our closest star, the Sun, is so important to Earth that some humans revere it as a deity. But it might also be one of the likeliest threats to our existence, being an enormous thermonuclear furnace. Talk about being ironic. Among its most naturally occurring activities is what is known as solar flares. These high-energy solar flares are extreme bursts of radiation on the sun. The most powerful ones have an energy release likened to that of a billion hydrogen bombs. And it takes less than 10 minutes to get to the Earth. This happened in the 1859 Carrington event, when the sun hit Earth with a lesser form of this electromagnetic storm, which caused huge problems for small-scale electronic equipment. But a highly destructive one can cause power outages, which is synonymous to an outright collapse of human civilization given our dependency on electronic equipment. This would be a huge difficulty. Even though it wouldn't immediately wipe out mankind, it has earned its place on the C rank of the tier list. Solar Prominence these are massive bright eruptions of vertical whirls of charged gas or plasma storms that appear to swirl on the sun's surface, making it seem like there are tornadoes twisting on the sun, something that has been disproved by recent research. Despite not twisting, they do find their freedom and send hot plasma rushing toward Earth, which causes a host of issues like abnormalities to electrical networks, damage to satellites, disruptions to Earth's magnetic field and radio frequencies and navigational systems. There are also coronal mass ejections CMEs, which are the ejection of large quantities of charged gas and magnetic materials from sunspots, with vertical tornadoes that can be as large as an entire planet. You can imagine the impact these would have. These plasma clouds driven by solar winds can form at any time and move in any direction with tremendous energy. The consequences of this solar prominence are very similar to solar flares, so we rank it C as well small asteroids. They sometimes reach the sides of small buses and enter into Earth's atmosphere at tens of thousands of miles per hour. When they enter the atmosphere and blow up, they release energy at a medium scale comparable to a nuclear bomb. Their effects have been minimal because they oftentimes detonate or burn up before they reach the surface, and you can expect them about once a year. Even according to NASA, a 25-meter but smaller than one kilometer asteroid would likely cause only some damage to the impact area. This deserves a C rank, we think. Cosmic Strings They sound like something out of a comic book, and for good reason, too. According to a study, 
cosmic strings are a hypothetical, one-dimensional, spatially topological defect in the fabric of space-time left over from the formation of the universe. The research explains that interaction with cosmic strings could create fields of closed time-like curves that allow backward time travel. In fact, there are scientists who suggest that these cosmic strings could be used to construct a time machine. In one scientist's words, your best bet is to fire two infinitely long cosmic strings past each other at very high speeds, then fly your ship around them in a carefully calculated figure eight. In theory, you would be able to emerge anywhere, anytime. At the moment, this is just a theoretical object, as no one has actually found a cosmic string. If such a thing existed, it would have an extremely strange consequence on the fabric of space and time. And such a phenomenon finding its way to Earth could wreak so much havoc. Given that few even have little to say on the level of destruction this could cause, we think a bee does it justice. Extraterrestrial Super Pathogen we humans have always been conscious of the enormity of the universe. The question of whether we are or aren't alone, it has always followed. Scientists have recently made arguments that we are not alone, and their basis is the fact that the possibility of extraterrestrial microbes in space following the theory of evolution exponentially increases due to the presence of extremophiles on Earth. Not just that, but also the fact that new discoveries about Earth elements, including water being discovered at various points in space. Thanks to these, alien life may most likely be in the form of microbes, or complex forms arising from microbes. Many methods are being used to search for extraterrestrial microbes, even going deep into harsher environmental conditions. Some reports have come out of sightings of bacteria on the ISS during spacewalks, but they haven't been validated. If due to exploration, an alien pathogen gets into Earth, it could lead to serious problems because it will probably adapt, establish, and spread, then alter the dynamics of local ecosystems, outcompeting native organisms to cause the loss of biodiversity globally. This will set the grounds for a gradual decline in the population of humans, and for that, it earns the B spot on our list. Moving Stars the Milky Way is filled with billions of wandering stars. There is always the possibility that some may move close to the Sun and interact with the source of our comets, the rocky Oort cloud at the edge of the solar system. This interaction, however, doesn't augur well for Earth because it might lead to an increased chance of a massive comet finding its way to Earth. Since these wandering stars are acting as catalysts for another reaction, we rank them B. Comets the scary thing about comets is that these frozen combos of rock, dust, and ice range from a few miles to tens of miles wide. But they can expand and become planet-sized with a tail that goes on for millions of miles after they orbit the sun and get heated up. A scarier thing to know about these comets, at least some of them, is that a few years ago, researchers reported that they found thousands of dark comets just floating about the solar system. Did we say dark? Dark comets, meaning they can't be detected because they lack surface water, which scientists can use to see them. So any of the comets could be hurtling toward Earth at an incomprehensible speed right this moment, and we would have no idea. There would be no information on the direction it was coming from, or even what size it is, and we're talking about something capable of wiping us out. According to NASA, there are only about 3,910 recorded comets out of the possible billions of comets that orbit the Sun in the Kuiper Belt. Yeah, we rank this one A. Supernova A supernova is an event that occurs when a huge star at the end of its life burns out instead of fading, resulting in its cataclysmic explosion. On average, supernovas should occur once or twice every 100 years. They are capable of emitting more energy in a few seconds than the Sun will radiate in the more than 7 billion years remaining lifetime. And any supernova close to home will completely rip away Earth's entire atmosphere. In fact, presently located in the constellation of Orion, just some 460 to 650 light years away is the star Betelgeuse, which is a red supergiant and may go supernova now or in the next million years. However, according to scientists' estimates, a supernova's radiation would have to travel no less than 50 light years away from Earth in order to harm our ozone layer. And before you say there isn't any hope of that happening anytime soon, you may be wrong, because scientists have discovered that stars are constantly in motion. So a star that was far away could have changed position out of the blue. For now, astronomers' surveys show that the nearest stars with the highest risk of exploding are too far away to be a threat. But still, the potential of its destructive capability deserves an A. Large Asteroids 
We talked about C-ranked small asteroids. These are large ones, are a whole different ballgame, with an abundance of them floating around space. It's not shocking to find large asteroids on this list. They have been reported to be the prime suspect in the extinction of dinosaurs. However, they further state that anything larger than one or two kilometers could have worldwide effects. Then we have asteroids that are nearly 5.4 kilometers in diameter, like the Tau Tatus, the largest known potentially hazardous asteroid. If you think that anything, there are asteroids that can be as big as 940 kilometers across. What would ancient life like dinosaurs have as protection against this? It wiped out all terrestrial creatures 65 million years ago. The impact was so strong that it caused global volcanic eruptions. A massive cloud of dust was released, engulfing Earth in a fallout winter that lasted for millennia. Fortunately, compared to smaller asteroid strikes that primarily inflict localized destruction, these planet-scale calamities are far less common. The latest one appeared around 10 million years ago, and they appear to occur roughly every few million years. Extinction Level Check S Rank Gamma ray bursts. Gamma ray bursts, GRBs, are the result of the collision of two stars and are regarded as probably the most powerful type of radiation. Here, the colliding stars trigger a black hole in their core, with the debris from the dead stars compressing and warming as it revolves around them. Then, a force initiates the escape of these huge streams of gamma ray radiation. It is the extremely violent energy that can tear through Earth's ozone layer, exposing everything alive to the destructive force of the sun's UV radiation. GRBs are regarded as one of the deadlier threats that are far-reaching and almost impossible to monitor. It is believed to be responsible or partially responsible for some previous extinctions that have happened on Earth. Researchers think that a possible explosion on the WR-104 star system, located around 5,200 light-years distant, may be the cause of a GRB that is possibly heading for Earth. It is unclear if it will lead to the whole or partial extinction of life on Earth. We rank this S since GRBs have reached Earth before and caused major destruction. Now there is a possibility they could show up, and yet we have no way of knowing when or where, and that is scary enough to receive an S. Kilo Nova It's the result of the collision of two neutron stars, which are the remnants of massive stars. Kilo Nova is the burst of light that results from the most powerful and violent events in the known universe. Researchers reported that if a neutron star merger were to occur within around 36 light years of Earth, the resulting radiation could cause an extinction level event. Since neutron stars are the collapsed remnants of dead stars, they are significantly rare. But since they are smaller and more difficult to detect, they can approach Earth slowly before bursting without warning. Thankfully, there has been no known lethal kilonova event to have ever impacted Earth yet, but this no doubt deserves an S rank. Shifting Black Holes these shifting black holes are exactly what you think they are, black holes that have gone rogue and are moving around. There are probably few other things that would terrify humans more. There is evidence suggesting that these rogue black holes even go outside their galaxies. For example, in January 2022, researchers using the Hubble Space Telescope and some other important instruments reported the first detection and mass measurement of a rogue stellar black hole named Ogle 2011 BLG 0462. This black hole was 7.1 times the size of the sun and was located 5,000 light years away. What was shocking was that it was moving at about 45 kilometers a second. Since they can be a result of the disruption of the fusion of two black holes or the after effect of two galaxies colliding, it is not surprising that Ogle 2011 BLG 0462 is not the only rogue black hole that has been detected. In fact, Scientists state that there could be 12 rogue black holes in the Milky Way galaxy alone. A black hole will swallow Earth so quickly that there won't be time to be shocked. There is a very low possibility of any coming close to Earth anytime soon, but we still rank this S because should it ever become a possibility, we are done. Expanding Sun Our Sun will die in exactly 7.72 billion years. That much is known. After shedding its outer atmosphere, it will eventually become a planetary nebula. It may appear like Earth is secure now, but the Sun will also generate a powerful solar wind that slows down Earth's rotation. Therefore, our planet will spiral into the outer layers of the greatly expanded dying star and melt away forever. Cooler and larger is the Sun's natural progression as it ages. It will be large enough to swallow Mercury and Venus when it matures into a stellar giant. Although this takes billions of years, when the Sun decides to swallow the Earth, we believe that's some fiery end to all life. So we'll rank it an expanding sun S. Andromeda Collision In 2003, somewhere in Seattle, 
Two astronomers provided the scientific community with a report that seemed to indicate that large spiral galaxies grow by eating up smaller satellite galaxies. A terrifying report. The phrase galactic cannibalism was soon being thrown around. Although not a new thing, galactic cannibalism simply referred to a space body merging with another space body to become one. In the case of galaxies, if two galaxies came in contact with one another, the one with a larger gravity slowly dissolves the other galaxy until both of them become one. This is something the Milky Way has done before. Now the Milky Way is probably going to crash with the Andromeda Galaxy eventually because of its size and proximity to it. The Andromeda Galaxy is the largest galaxy in the local group, with over a trillion stars compared to our galaxy's modest half a trillion. For all planets and life forms that presently inhabit it, this procedure could be disastrous due to the immense magnitude of tidal gravitational forces involved. Our nearest galaxy, Andromeda, will devour us in 3 billion years. It is what the scientists say, and there's currently nothing we can do to stop it from happening because it is just the way of the universe. And our entire galaxy will just cease to exist. An extinction-level criteria has been fully met. As rain. We do not always know when a real eminent risk to life on Earth may materialize. Something significant enough to destroy the very basis of our species and perhaps exterminate us all. We truly live on the brink of catastrophe. However, it is not to say we shouldn't be prepared.